Stretch a little bit. Let's stretch together, okay? One, two, other way. One, two, okay. But you know, even though it was a gloomy week, sometimes when it is gloomy outside, or if I'm like having a bad day, or if I'm sick, um, something like that where the day is just not going really well, I know that if I can pretend and imagine how Jesus might think of the day or think of the situation, he would make the most of it, right? He might take a gloomy rainy day that looks just no fun and sad and dark. Um, and he might say, you know what? Let's stay inside. Let's do something different. We can still have fun. We can still make it a great day. Like we might, we might want to go outside and play, but it's raining. But instead, we can go inside, we can bake cookies, or we can play board games with our families, like Monopoly, or we can talk to our friends on the phone, FaceTime them, text them. You know, sometimes when we see life through Jesus's eyes, we're able to see how good everything is. And even the good things in ourselves. Remember, our theme for this month is custom creations. There is only one you. And we're also talking about individuality and how together we're going to discover who we're all meant to be individually in Jesus's eyes, the people that God created us to be and how we can make a difference in this world. So today we are actually going to be finding out how by knowing who Jesus is and having a relationship with him, we will be able to see things differently. We'll be able to see the world, see ourselves through his eyes. And let me tell you, it's pretty amazing when we're able to do that. Guys, it's going to be a really great day. I promise you, there's a lot in store. So let's quiet ourselves down, calm down. If you need to close your eyes, take a little couple seconds just to let all the jitters do so. And we're going to quiet our hearts and we're going to center our hearts and our minds for worship. And we're going to do that by once again preparing our worship candles. So now's a great time to ask an adult, your parents or whoever's old enough to help you light the candles so that we can begin our worship. All right, now that you have them lit, let's say John chapter 8, verse 12 together. All right, let's do it. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. John chapter 8, verse 12. Awesome. Now, just like we did last week, let's put our hands in the air, bring them in for a prayer in three, two, one. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for one more amazing week. We want to thank you, even though it might have been gloomy and rainy, a little bit dark. God, we know that you are still a good God and that you love us. Help us to learn what it means to know Jesus so that we can see this world and ourselves in his eyes and so that we can be able to make a difference. Help us to learn something new today and be able to share something new to someone else. You are an awesome God and we love you so, so much. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, do you hear that? Mm -hmm. Sounds like we need to get up, up, up for a time of praise. Woo! There's a whole lot of change coming your way. 
Cause like it or not, nothing stays the same So hold on tight and follow real close God is good and he's in control Clap your hands like this Now do the twist Stomp your feet the same
perfect, you don't make mistakes. I am loved by you the way I made. You made me on purpose, and I am not broken. You remind me of the truth that you have spoken over me. I am yours, I'm enough, but I am loved deeper than. You made my heart, made my mind, made me bright so I can shine. Ah, isn't that like, who comes up with this stuff? It's so cool, isn't it? Like, don't you guys just love praise? It always helps me to let out all that extra energy in the morning, um, all those like extra sillies so that I can focus and learn what the Bible lesson is for today. I love it. All right, let's go over this month's Bible verse together. All right, say it nice and loud with me. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. And that comes from Psalm chapter 139, verse 14. All right, now this week we have a new bottom line. Can you guys read it with me? All right, here it is. Knowing Jesus changes how you see yourself. Let's say that one more time. Knowing Jesus changes how you see yourself. Hmm. How do you guys see yourself? Have you ever thought, hmm, who am I? Who am I in my own eyes? Before you answer that question, I have I have a good challenge for you. It's a little game. Let's see how good your eyes are, all right? I'm going to show you guys a couple of pictures. These pictures, they're gonna be of people or characters you might know. You should know, maybe you won't. I want you guys to guess who they are, all right? Here we go, first picture. Mm-hmm. This one's not too hard because we don't know many people who are red and have spiders on them. And the superhero, that's right, Spider-Man. All right, next one. Ooh, cowboy, sheriff, cartoon. That's right, it's Woody from Toy Story. All right, this one. Oh, bright yellow, wearing jean overalls. Mm-hmm, that's right, a minion, okay. You guys are pretty good at this. Those are the easy rounds. Now it gets a little bit harder. Look at this one. Ooh, like a bluish green color. It's an animal. Mmm, Perry the platypus. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this guy looks strong. He has a lot of hair. Oh, he has tattoos too. That's right. It's Maui from Moana. All right, what about this one? Blue fish. That has to be Dory. It's Dory. All right, last round. This is the hardest round. Here we go. What in the world? Hmm, it looks like maybe it's someone's ear? Oh, who could that be? Oh, it's Pastor Tara. All right, next one. Hmm, glasses. Oh, 
There's a lot of people's classes. It's Pastor Joe. Oh, I should have guessed that one. Last one. Hmm. That's weird. Doesn't look like a person. It's you guys. It's Kingdom Kids. All right. You guys are good. Better than honestly I expected. It seems like you have pretty good eyes. You are able to see certain things about people and characters to be able to recognize them, right? But let me ask you, what about yourself? If I showed you a picture of yourself, zoomed in, like really, really close to maybe your eyebrow or your eyelashes, would you be able to tell yourself from someone else? What characteristics in you do you recognize that would help you distinguish you? When you guys wake up in the morning and you need to go to the bathroom and you're brushing your teeth, washing your face, when you look at yourself in the mirror, do you ever just think, wow, I am beautiful? Or, wow, that is one cute smile. Or do you think, hmm, I look angry. Or, I look sad. It is kind of a weird question, don't you think? Hmm. For me, sometimes when I look at myself in the mirror, I say, wow, you look really young today. Other times I look at myself in the mirror, I go, ooh, you look, you look rough. You look like a caveman. You need to shave and shower and... <laughs> Well, today, my friend Kellen is going to be telling us an amazing story. And it's about a man named Matthew. He was not the greatest guy in a lot of people's eyes. Someone who was not really known for being a good guy, doing good things. But when he met Jesus, he was able to change. And he was able to make a difference in the world. All right. Kellen, I'm going to leave it up to you. Take it away. Okay, so everywhere Jesus went, people would marvel at his teachings. Oh! And people would especially delight in all the many miracles Jesus would perform. People loved him. One day, Jesus was walking into a town where he met Matthew. The problem was, people did not like Matthew at all. <coughs> Why? Well, because he was a tax collector for Rome. Tax collectors were looked down on because not only did they collect money for taxes, they would take extra money to keep for themselves. When Jesus approached Matthew, People may have thought Jesus was going to put Matthew in his place. You're out! But instead, Jesus went up to Matthew, a guy who no one liked or valued, and he said, follow me. Now this probably blew Matthew's mind. Jesus, miracle worker and teacher, was asking Matthew to follow him. Jesus valued Matthew when no one else would. And Matthew got up and he followed Jesus. Now, when the other people in town saw this happen, they were, they were confused. Huh? The religious leaders were beside themselves in anger. They couldn't understand why Jesus would spend any time with someone as disliked as Matthew. But even worse, Jesus went to Matthew's house and hung out with a bunch of other people in town that the religious leaders considered the worst kind of people. I mean, Jesus basically went to a party with all the troublemakers. And the religious leaders, well, they asked Jesus' disciples, why does your teacher eat with sinners and tax collectors? But when Jesus heard this, 
He responded by saying, those who are healthy don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have not come to get those who think they are right with God to follow me. I have come to get sinners to follow me. Yeah, definitely a mic drop moment. Jesus wanted the religious leaders to know, and he wants us to know, that people, no matter what they look like or where they come from or what they've done, are valuable to him. The end. Helen, thank you so much. That was an amazing story once again. You know, sometimes the way we see ourselves is not the best way. Or like Matthew, we might not think people see us in a good way, right? People might see us in a bad way because of what we've done accidentally or the way, you know, just things are. And it's not a great feeling when people don't see you as an awesome person or as a good person, you know? That's not what we want for ourselves. We want to see the good things. We want the good things in ourselves to shine the brightest so that the bad things can't be seen, right? Well, Jesus was able to do that through Matthew. Isn't that amazing, right? And guess what? He can do that through you and me. All we have to do is learn more about him and get to know him and be able to see things like he sees things. Here, take this as an example. Would you guys rather have a spoonful? Let's pretend someone was giving you an option. You can either have a spoonful of blueberries or you can have a spoonful of, I don't know, ketchup. Hmm? Or, okay, what about someone said, I'm going to give you a spoonful of oh, Nutella. Oh, this stuff's so good. A spoonful of this or a spoonful of mayo, mayonnaise. Okay, last one. What about, um, I don't know, would you guys rather have a spoonful of, would you guys rather have a spoonful of cookie pieces mm, or oh, a spoonful of vinegar. Well, obviously you wouldn't want to take the bad stuff out of the options, right? You would rather take the blueberries over ketchup. You would rather take Nutella over mayonnaise. And a cookie obviously is better than a spoonful of vinegar, right? Doesn't that just, it just makes sense, right? But what if we had a hot dog. Then the ketchup doesn't sound so bad. It actually makes the hot dog taste better. Okay, what about for the mayonnaise, right? Just by itself, it's, it's kind of gross. But if we mixed it with some tuna, we could make a tuna salad sandwich, which is pretty delicious. I love it. Or with the vinegar. If we had cucumbers and the vinegar, we could make pickles. Or if you're more Korean and you like something more like panchan, you can have like oi kimchi or something like that. And that's so delicious, right? But the vinegar by itself is pretty crazy. You see, Sometimes we need to be reminded like that, how the bad things, the gross things, can actually be good if we see them that way. Sometimes we need to be reminded of who God created us to be, who Jesus sees us as, in order to see ourselves as amazing creations, no matter the good or the bad. All right, let's pray. I hope you guys were able to take away a little bit of something. So, so let us put our hands in the air. We're going to bring them in for a prayer in three, two, one. Dear God, thank you for teaching us something amazing today. 
that through Jesus, we are able to see better who you created us to be and how we can take even the not so great things and make a difference to shine in this world. Help us to know Jesus more so that we can be the individual creations that you made us to be. We love you and we love you and we love you and we know that you're awesome and in Jesus name we pray amen all right now is a great time for us to take out our offerings and get ready to lift them up to God as a thanksgiving as we sing God is so good sing it with me it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The power and the glory forever. Amen. Guys, I had so much fun today. I learned so much and oh, I love spending time with you guys. I really hope that maybe sometime this week, whether it's rainy or sunny, you can take a moment any time of the day and just look at yourself, think about yourself. And maybe you can practice seeing yourself through Jesus's eyes. Then that way, not only will you see yourself differently, you can see other people differently as amazing creations that God created only one of, as individuals. All right. Have a great week. Have an amazing week. Nobody get sick. Nobody get hurt. See you next week. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, it is our church's 70th anniversary. Don't forget to celebrate, all right? Catch you guys later.